The Caribbean coastlines are being invaded by an unusual visitor, Sargasm. Sargasm is a brown microalgae, or seaweed, named after the Sargasso Sea in the North Atlantic. And there are more than 100 different species in the world. But three types in particular keep popping up on Caribbean beaches. It's born in the sea and it dies in the sea. It tends to cling together in large masses, providing habitat for many creatures, including shrimps, crabs, worms, and fish. A fragment of a brown alga can regenerate an entirely functioning plant. When it breaks off, a new segment starts growing from it. The floating masses seem to propagate themselves by fragmentation. And when meeting warm temperature waters, the sargassum reproduces quickly. But now, this massive seaweed volume is killing sea turtles and blocking turtle nesting. It's affecting health, tourism, shoreline ecology, coral reefs, seagrasses, fisheries, and its befouling beaches across the Caribbean. Sargasa en realidad está afectando demasiado lo que es el turismo. Yes, we are, we are losing uh, people and we are losing part of our business. This international emergency is currently affecting several countries. But where does it come from? The true origins of these mass invasions and the cumulative impacts of them are not yet fully known because this problem has multiple roots. The scientific community believes that dust coming from Africa to the West, in conjunction with high nutrients and metals released into the ocean from the Amazon River in Brazil, combine to stimulate the sargassum growth. The Sargasso Sea currents and earth rotation drag the algae masses west. And when the Sargasm encounters the hot waters of the Caribbean, it reproduces massively. Prolonged droughts in the Caribbean prevent the shoreline from receiving sweet alkaline water from the mountains. Industrial pollution also aggravates the low pH levels of the Caribbean seawaters, creating the perfect conditions for the sargassum to reproduce at wild disproportion. But is the sargassum outbreak nature's response to the chaos we have created? Are we killing our own paradise? Many countries are finding solutions to solve the problem, transforming the sargassum into renewable materials such as compost, construction staples, sustainable plastic, and renewable energy sources. These are just some of the ways affected communities are trying to coexist with sargassum. Will the sargassum represent the end of the Caribbean paradise as we know it, or will it be the beginning of innovative opportunities?